Though it's hard to tell by looking now, we're standing inside the old Hippodrome. Just over here, next to the Hagia Sophia, would have been the great public entrance to it. Let's take a walk deeper inside. There's not much left to the Hippodrome today. A few decades ago, they did a clumsy excavation where they found seats that once made up the outer wall of the Hippodrome. But now, really, all that's left are the three immense spina, the two immense spina, and the serpent column, around which the charioteers used to race. Had we been here 1,500 years ago or so, we would have been deafened by the noise as the chariot factions, the blues and the greens, scream themselves hoarse, supporting their favorite charioteer, whipping their horses around and around. Behind me is the Column of Theodosius, named after the emperor who erected it, but it was originally brought by Constantine the Great or his son Constantius. Unfortunately, when he gave instructions to the Byzantine stonemasons to bring it, the obelisk they found was nearly three times too tall. So their solution was simply to hack it across, and if you look carefully enough, you can see right across the hieroglyphs, they're cut in midstream. This is the serpent column behind me, supposedly cast from the bronze shields of the Persians who fell at the Battle of Plataea. As usual, Constantine looted the ancient world, trying to bring relics and important things to his vast new city of Constantinople. This is the so-called magnetic column, or plated column usually erroneously attributed to Constantine VII. He actually did sheath it in bronze, but it was probably built by Constantine the Great. A local Turkish tradition is to climb to the top and scale the way down. It's not much to look at today, but originally it had metal plates sheathed all the way around it so that it would gleam whenever the sun shined on it. If you look at the base, the marble of the base, you also see it's pockmarked with holes. That's not necessarily vandalism, that's probably a mechanism to hold on the outer plating, which is one of the reasons why the part of the marble with the inscription doesn't have any holes in it. From here we're looking down basically the length of the Hippodrome, or what's left of it. Who knows what wonders lie just meters below our feet, but we're unlikely to find out anytime soon.